Rafael Varane is perhaps the most talked about centre-back in the whole of Europe right now since his big money move from Real Madrid to Manchester United this summer. A lot of people think that the 50 million euros spent on the 28-year-old was worth it as he has proven himself on the biggest stages, including the UEFA Champions League and the World Cup. Varane is a household name and chances are that you already know him very well. But here are 10 things you probably didn't already know about the Manchester United newest centre-back. But just before we jump into that for more football videos like this one, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell notification so you never miss an upload. Number 1. He started out playing rugby Although Rafael Varane started playing football very early in his life, football was not exactly his first choice. He actually started out playing rugby. He didn't grow to like it very much, so he switched to football as a young boy and surely the entire world of football is grateful for that decision that young Varane made many years ago. Number 2. He is one of the most expensive centre-backs in the world. In the 2021 summer transfer window, Manchester United spent 50 million euros to get the signature of Raphael Varane. With that, the French defender makes it into an elite list of the 10 most expensive centre-backs in the world. A list which is currently topped by his new defensive partner, Harry Maguire. Number 3. He's never afraid to stand up to managers Very early on in his career, Varane turned down call-ups to the French under-18 side because he wanted to focus more on his club career at the time. And if you follow football, you'll know how much guts you have to turn down a call-up to play for your country, especially at such a young age. Later on, before he signed for Real Madrid, he got a call from a certain French legend and Ballon d'Or winner trying to get the young French defender to sign for Real Madrid. When he confirmed that the man on the other side of the call was Zinedine Zidane, he politely told him to call him later because he was busy at the moment. Now, could you imagine that? Getting a call from one of the greatest players of all time and telling him to call you back because you were busy. Wow! Varane was really one very confident teenager. Number 4. He's married to his childhood sweetheart Varane not only has a glamorous career, he also has a beautiful family and an adorable love story. In 2015, the World Cup winner tied the knot with his beautiful wife Camille Teigert. They had met many years earlier in secondary school in France, and when he made his move to the Spanish capital, she was by his side too. The couple have two beautiful kids, a son Ruben and a daughter Anais. Number 5. Man United tried to sign him three times. Before their successful attempt in the 2021 summer transfer window, English giants Manchester United had tried two times and failed to get the signature of the French centre-back. First in 2011 when Sir Alex Ferguson was still in charge, but it seems that Zidane's call did the trick because he ended up going to Real Madrid that year. United tried to get him again a couple of years later when he was a more established player, but failed again. This time, Varane admitted that it was difficult to say no to the offer, especially because he had a special relationship with Jose Mourinho, who was United's manager at the time. Varane had played under Mourinho at Madrid and even said he was one of the reasons he made the move to the Spanish capital. Anyway, it appears that the third time was the charm. When United came calling again in 2021, this time with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer in charge, his answer was an immediate yes. I guess it's safe to say that United finally got the player of their dreams. Number 6. Bayern rejected him Well, it was not only Varane doing the rejecting early on in his career, he also had clubs reject him, most notably German giants Bayern Munich. In 2011, Bayern had the chance to sign the French teenager for just 5 million euros, but they decided against it. According to them, they didn't want him because 5 million euros was too much to spend on an 18-year-old. Well, two months after they turned down teenage Varane for being too expensive, Real Madrid went and paid two times that amount and snatched him up. Fast forward to 2021, after helping them win a lot of trophies, Madrid sold him to Man United for 50 million euros. Brilliant business that was, isn't it? 
Number 7. Fourth player to win UEFA Champions League and World Cup in the same year. 2018 was indeed such a good year for Rafael Varane. After winning the UEFA Champions League for the fourth time and a record third time in a row with Real Madrid, he went on to also win the FIFA World Cup that same summer. And he didn't just win it, he was a vital player for Le Bleu, playing every minute of every game in the tournament. By clinching the World Cup with France that year, he joined an elite list of players who have won the Champions League and the World Cup in the same year. Interestingly, all three players who had previously done this, Christian Carambao, Roberto Carlos and Sami Khedira, like Rafael, were all playing for Real Madrid at the time they achieved this rare feat. Number 8. The youngest player to captain France Le Bleu are a national team known for their young super talents over the years, from the likes of Thierry Henry down to Kylian Mbappe. But somewhere in between, there was a player who wore the captain's armband for this prestigious side younger than anybody else. And yes, you guessed right, it was Raphael Varane. On the 14th of October 2014, Varane was handed the captain's armband by Blay Matuidi at half-time in a game against Armenia. And at 21 years of age, he became the youngest ever player to have captained the French national team. And, well, he did such a good job leading the team that in the following month, he was selected as captain, this time in the beginning of the game in a match against Sweden. It was in that game that he scored his first goal for his country, helping them secure a friendly win. Number 9. He was a victim of robbery In December 2016, Rafael Varane's house in Spain was robbed. Reports said that the thieves carted away with very valuable clothes and jewellery, as well as cash, all amounting to about €70,000. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the process. Rafael himself was playing a match for Real Madrid against Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League while the robbery was going on. Number 10. He is a Knight of the Legion of Honor The Legion of Honor, which was established in the 19th century by Napoleon Bonaparte, is the highest order of merit that can ever be awarded in France. And this includes the military too. In 2018, after his amazing contributions to football in France, Raphael Varane was awarded this honor by the French government. And there you have it, 10 things you probably didn't know about the latest Red Devil. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to slap a like on it. And also subscribe to the channel so you don't miss amazing content like this. Catch you in the next video. Ciao!